Hi guys, so it's me Nicolette and today I want to talk a little bit about overdrafts. Um, just remember that none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for any level of advice, please do consult a professional. So if you know or have followed my journey, you know that at some point in my life I was a teacher and I was earning 8,137 Rand. This is what I got after tax. The actual amount was 8869 I remember it very well because these are the kind of things that you don't forget because that was my first actual formal job and it was my first salary. So I went to the bank and I had moved now from a student account and they had qualified me for this new account, right? So I went to the bank and I got assigned for my new account and, 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 and story. And then the bank consultant says to me, you know what, Miss Mashile, we can also give you a an overdraft of 14,000 rand. 14,000 rand. Guys, I could not believe my ears. And when she said it, when she said this to me, I was like, Guys, 14,000 rand. Do you understand what 14,000 rand is when you are earning 8,000 rand? That's a lot of money. And, and you know, the thing is, banks always downplay this, this, this thing. It's actually a lot of money. And they sell this overdraft facility as if it's like the holy grail of I'm loans. Because then they tell you there's no minimum repayments for an, an overdraft. You, you, only get, you only pay for what you use. And like they've got all these great like, cheerleader support systems for their overdraft and the reality of life is that an overdraft is what looks is what the devil would look like if you were to meet the devil right and i'll tell you why it is that way because an overdraft is actually a trap it's a trap for you to just get stuck in the cycle of because let's be honest if i'm earning eight thousand rand and i overdraft or i overdraw my account by even just a thousand rand now my account is sitting on minus 1,000 rand. When my salary comes in, that 8,000 comes in, I now have a positive balance of 7,000 rand. But the reason why I probably overdrew my account in the last month was because 8,000 rand was not enough to cover my face for the whole month. So what makes you guys now say, with now I'm 2,000 rand behind? I mean, how does an overdraft actually make sense, guys, to, to be quite honest? And the thing is, yes, you're supposed to live beyond your means. But when a bank says to you, you've got an overdraft of 14,000 Rand, they've kind of said to you, you've got means of 14,000 Rand extra. Because how does a bank expect me with my ill discipline, my lack of willpower to not go into the 14,000 Rand that is sitting there saying, we are here for you. So like, I, I don't get it. I just, I, I really don't get it. And yes, it, 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 people will always say, have the discipline to say no. But I say have the discipline to just not have an overdraft in the first place. Because also you must understand that an overdraft, because it's also an unsecured lending, it's also one of those with the highest interest rates. So now you are paying a high interest rate on something that you don't even... I mean, this is, what they always, this is another selling point. They always say no initiation fee because you didn't apply for it. No application free. My friend, it's a scam. Don't get scammed by the overdraft, okay? Let, take it from me, it's not worth it. Because a lot of people that I speak to, and it breaks my heart, a lot of people are caught in the cycle, yeah, overdraft. Because let me give you another example of what happens. Now I overdraw the overdraft by 2,000 Rand because now I had to pay back the initial 1,000 Rand and plus the interest, right? So let's say perhaps now I overdraw it by 2,000 Rand or probably 1.5, but ultimately it's actually 2,000 Rand. Next time my 8,000 Rand comes in, my positive balance is only 6,000 Rand. I need ultimately 9,000 Rand every single month to survive. Now, my, I'm now having to, the next month, go into 3,000 rand of the overdraft. So you basically get that, guys, I knew somebody who used to work with me who was overdrawn by 30,000 rand. Do you understand what 30,000 rand looks like in an overdraft? Because when your salary comes in, it's like you are, you are constantly in the minors. You're constantly working in the minors. It really is not worth it, guys. So be very careful of when, and, and this is the thing, you know, when it comes to other credit, let's say, for instance, a personal loan, a credit card, these are things that you go out of your own way to go and apply for. And you're like, listen, I'm going to need. An overdraft is like, is like an umbrella that's just there. It's just saying, I, I'm here. So if you're walking in the sun and the sun is too hot, remember, I am here. 
if you're walking in the rain and the rain i mean the rain might even be this much oh it's drizzling a little but you know the temptation of grabbing an umbrella even when it's raining a little bit but if you don't have it and you just quickly run to the other side, you might not get rained on. It might not be that bad. But because now you know an umbrella is there, why would you not grab it? So be very careful of this trap called the overdraft, guys.